Okay, so I'm going to transfer our pâte à choux dough into our pastry bag and then we're going to immediately pipe it onto our parchment lined baking sheet and pop it in the oven. Now pâte à choux rises um, from steam, not from chemical leaveners. So it's really important that you get it into a hot oven. Um, my oven is set at 425. I have a gas oven which tends to create a little more humidity than an electric oven. So you want to adjust, you know, know, know the quirks of your oven and adjust accordingly. Okay, so then we're going to begin doing our little circles. Now, another trick. If you put some pet shoe under your parchment, it's not going to move. Your parchment will stay put. Okay, so you want to just go in a circle and come up. And these are the cream puff shapes. And you can also do eclairs, mini eclairs. Which is just simply a straight line. So sometimes you also, you get this little peak here and that is definitely going to burn in the oven because it's so small. So if you just kind of tap it down with your finger, you can wet your finger, which will prevent it from sticking to the dough, but just kind of fold it over itself and it will not burn. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and they're gonna cook for about 10 minutes. You wanna check them again because every oven is different and um, make sure that they're doing okay in there. It's really important not to open the oven for the first seven minutes of baking because that's when the structure is going to set up and that's when the steam is really going to do its work. Um, if you have you know, a window in your oven and you can kind of peek on it that way, that's great. So let's get these into the oven. The, um, the cream puffs are going to cook a little bit longer than the eclairs just because they're a little bit taller. So again, you just want to keep an eye on them. First seven minutes, do not open the oven, and after that, it's okay to check on them. Okay, so our pâte de is out of the oven, and as soon as these come out of the oven, you need to release the steam, otherwise the insides will get really soggy. So the best thing to do is to use a pastry tip. So if you want to use a towel, you definitely can. Um, pick it up and gently flip it over. And then you just kind of want to wiggle your pastry tip into the bottom of the cream puff and that will allow enough steam to escape so that the insides don't get soggy. You want to let those cool completely before you fill them with anything. And let me show you this cell structure here. If you take a look at this beautiful cell structure on the inside of the cream puff, you can see that it's hollow, it has incredible tunnel structure, and it's perfect for filling with the most amazing vanilla pastry cream. All right, so I hope you learned a lot about pâte and you'll give it a try yourself. You can see it's really easy. And if you have questions about this or any baking technique, you can visit the chef2chef.net forum and post your question, and bakers from all over the country will be there to answer your questions. So thanks so much for watching.